Thank you, and uh, hello, everybody. I'd like to uh, spend a couple of minutes on some backdrop for you, and I'm going to show you a short video, and uh, Soren and I have a little something to tell you at the end of all that. Um, as was mentioned, I'm with the 1440 Foundation, which some may know, 1440 is named for the number of minutes in a day. And the idea behind that is to try and pay best attention possible to each one. And then to take the wherewithal of the foundation, whether that's uh, time or financial support, and get out into this community that we are all a part of and try and figure out how to make a contribution. And we've spent the last oh, two and a half or three years really embarked on that mission and learning a ton from a lot of people. And it's kind of boiled down to two intentions. One is for us to try and contribute as catalysts to the field. And second is to do that, borrowing a phrase from a friend of ours, by trying to serve champions in their work. And this is just a kind of a short update based on what we found is that there is a huge amount of activity going on that we are blown away by. And that's in part by the quality of the work of the champions themselves, but it's also the composition of the surrounding infrastructure that's coming together. It's people with time, people with resources, people with expertise, people with connections. And so what we've come to realize even more than ever in the last 12 months is how many diverse interests are coming together to help what we all would like to see happen in a bigger way. And as part of how we could contribute to that a year ago, we announced a challenge. And the idea and the thought behind it was to figure out how can we catalyze the effort and the intention and the passion that Soren's invitation brings us all together to be part of and see it make its way out into the world. Because for us, it's about impact. What are we going to do to make impact? How do we do that? So we announced this challenge called Social Media Meets Social Good. No, frankly, no idea how many responses, if any, and what interest we'd get. The challenge was issued uh, at this event one year ago, and the, and the invitation was to bring us your ideas for how you can take your passion and your vision and carry it out into the world in a way that it can invite others to share this with us and be part of it. Well, the thing that we found, not knowing whether we'd get one, 10, or 20 responses, is we got 169 mm -hmm. responses from people that had ideas. All of the people here, people that came to us by Facebook or by follow-up or by friend of friend, and said, hey, I've got an idea. I have something I think is cool that I want to do, and, and can you help us? And what do you think? And through a difficult process, we boiled that down to 20 finalists, and we narrowed that list down, and we brought together some help from judges. We had Roshi Joan Halifax, Dan Siegel, uh, Meng Tan, Soren, and Pat Christian from Hope Labs, and myself, and we sat down and said, let's call these and see how we can contribute and help them. And the video I'm going to show you is from the three, uh, I want to call them the three we selected. Uh, there was 169 winners. And some of, and frankly, I think what may end up being the most powerful contribution in all this is going to be the connection some of those folks made with others and that we've had the opportunity to pursue beyond this. But the three that were selected were Headspace, Teen Wellness, and What Matters Now. Three passionate champions with incredible ideas. And I've got a short video that I'd like to show you that will uh, bring those ideas and some of the thoughts behind how they became our choice. And let me show that video to you now, and then we'll talk a little bit about plans for the year to come.
They've put together fundamental principles of encouraging people to take time in, to reflect inwardly in a mindful way on a daily basis. The context of um, both the mindfulness content, real, realizing people's attention is, you know, five minutes at best, ten minutes if you're really lucky, and understanding it and being able to kind of capsule, capture that uh, uh, attention into these uh, short bursts of openness, of mindfulness. So the mission of Headspace is to improve the health and happiness of the world by delivering accessible, creative and relevant mind training tools. The 1440 Award will allow us to focus on the, the scientific element of the project a little bit more, increasing the, the stickiness of meditation and at the same time gaining valuable insight as to how and why mindfulness is an effective intervention. We see a whole world of people who could potentially benefit from training their mind on a daily basis. But the case needs to be compelling, exciting and engaging. Hi, my name's Andy and I'm the co-founder of Headspace. Using the setting of education, schools and middle school and high school, to allow the counselors in schools and perhaps even the classrooms to have a program that allows children to develop uh, social and emotional skills to support their acquisition of resilience. With Teen Wellness Counselor, we see the opportunity to combine technology in support of kids' resilience. This whole field of wellness is something that we're particularly excited about, and I'm extremely interested to see how they take their, their uh, text-based narrative now and create something that's visually engaging and stimulating for kids. Since winning the challenge, we have created the new content of the team wellness, uh, created the script for the new media content. We are starting the production process with the help from 1440 Foundation with the high school students they have connected us with. Uh, the key to make our content engaging is have actual kids authentically opening up about themselves and sharing the experience and sharing the learning of those skills and how that helped them. Uh, by participating in the challenge, I met all the great group of people like yourself pursuing the same goal to promote wellness in the society. My name is Asako Tsunagari and I'm the founder of Mevident. What matters now, I feel, um, addresses the most important experience of the human, and that is how we feel about dying, how we share in the experience of dying, and also how we build community around the dying person. It seems just like a brilliant way of supporting families and supporting individuals, and making that process um, one that has a little more connection and a little more empathy and make it a community experience rather than an individual experience. And they are able to treat the subject with so much compassion and love and kindness. I think the whole enterprise is just beautiful. Thank you for doing that. We provide free personal patient websites for people who are chronically ill, critically ill, or who are dying as a way to bring loved ones together to share in that experience and support one another. It's been a labor of love project, so I get a lot of volunteer work from my friends. But what the 1440 grant has enabled us to do is hire the expertise in areas that we don't have. So we have Google Grants Pro from Google, which gives us a $40,000 a month AdWords budget. And so we hired an AdWords consultant to help us make the best use of that to reach the most people. We created What Matters Now to hold space for self-awareness, authenticity, trust, empathy, wisdom, and compassion. If you're witnessing someone else going through illness, it makes you reflect on your own life, your own mortality and meaning and what matters. I'm Vanessa Callison Birch, co-founder of What Matters Now.
pretty amazing stuff. Uh, Vanessa is with us, Asako and Shona Mitchell from Headspace flew over from the UK where they're based to be with us, as well as about 14 or 15 of the finalists who are all uh, in the audience and with us over the couple of days. So please, if you get a chance, come and say hello. The thing that's so uh, powerful, and I guess what's, what captures us about this, is the ways in which intention manifests. At Headspace, for example, if you happen to fly to the UK and you choose to go on Virgin Atlantic, you'll find it behind your seat on the video on every flight that crosses the ocean. And Headspace will offer you a meditation for sleep or for relaxation or for rest. And Asako's work will be reaching out to teens through university-developed work to give teens a place to go to connect with each other and get through the difficult times of adolescence. And with what matters now and the work that Vanessa is doing, there's incredible communities, compassionate communities built to come and share and hold people and families through end of life and through critical care. All manifestations of compassion, of wisdom, and all born as the inspiration and the passion of individual champions who have a vision that we have the honor to serve and to support. One of those champions is in charge of this conference himself, and that's Soren, and I want to invite him to come up because what we are doing as this goes forward is, in, is extending that invitation and that challenge again as partners and in support of this particular tall, thin champion here. Um, so, Soren, let me hand it over to you and have great, you take great. the helm. Great. Thank you. So I think one of the insights that Scott had from looking out in this community was um, there's all these ideas and all these interests. And how do we begin to take all the ideas and potential projects that you have that merge wisdom and technology in some form and support you and really see it as a way of harnessing the kind of kind of group intelligence of this growing community. So one of the things that we're happy to take on uh, after 1440 has done such a good job of launching it is this whole sphere of what does it mean to support wisdom and technology. And we're calling it the Wisdom Award uh, in partnership with 1440. We'll announce it on April 15th, uh, and there'll be all the different details then. But basically what we want to do is find the most um, impactful ideas and impactful projects that you might have and find whether it's one or a couple winners and give you the kinds of support you need and some of that will be financial but some of that will also be meetings with venture capitalists, meeting with wisdom teachers, retreats, whatever we can do that takes your idea and help bring it forward into the world. So on April 15th, we will be announcing that and launching that. There will also be a tech wisdom fair. If you have some ideas you want to bring forth, there will be a chance to do that. There will also be conference calls. So if you live out of the Bay Area and you want to join and, and collaborate, um, we'll be announcing some of those. If you want more information today, um, at the 1440 booth, you can get a flyer with some dates for some of our meetups and some of our other gatherings that we'll be having. So partly our intention, which I think is really Scott's vision, is to really blend this whole entrepreneurial element, this, this action to do something and to make change, with this whole other w wisdom world, which tends to be beautiful, but also tends to be a little um, on, the, on the being aspect. And, on the, um, and so how do we connect this being aspect and the doing aspect together? And how do we find the things to support? So that's the vision, and we're super excited to take it on. Again, you can know more information in the 1440 booth, and we look forward to being able to give you more details on April 15th. And again, we're really excited and thankful for Scott and the 1440 Foundation for moving this forward. And our hope is that other foundations and other groups and individuals will also come on board so it can be something that, that really supports all the different ideas and projects in this community. So I think with that, we will... Um, say uh, thank you again and look for more information from us. And um, again, I really want to thank Scott for his foresight and the 1440 Foundation for their support in moving this forward. And my thanks to all of you for the ideas. Thank you so much. Yeah.